Hello everybody. Looks like video is working well. It's here um, Australia, in Australia. It's around, um, I think, one o'clock. Yep, around one o'clock. And I'm going to be doing free readings today and maybe a healing. Just sort of drop in. I've been off the radar a little if you're on my email list because uh, you're getting a new website and it should be launched next week. There's also a new, a new group, Facebook group called Spiritual Development for Women Being Created and so lots of new stuff. So my energy is being moved um, elsewhere so therefore there's only one of me and I have to monitor my energy because it's like you, you only, there's only one of you and you need to watch where you put your energy. So I'm a creator, a manifester. Um, I'm, I'm here to assist people elevate. Now for me to do that, I need to always make sure that I'm aligned. Otherwise, I bring across a misaligned energy. So, uh, here I am and I have some energy to give away. It's free energy today. <laughs> Um, I just felt like connecting and saying hi. So thank you for uh, your hearts. Thank you for watching. Hey, Rod, it's, it's been a long time. Uh, you popped in on the last video. Um, okay, so I just wanted to also, before we start this healing or um, a reading for you, I'll do, you can ask me anything and I will find what's in your energy field that's blocking or causing your stuff, okay? Now, before I do that, you'll need to, one, uh, request to join this video. So somewhere on your phone, you need to um, see if you can request to come on, and then I will uh, bring you on. The other thing is you need to have a question that you want. Do you have pain? Do you have stress? Do you have financial issues? Whatever you have, I'll be able to identify that. And, okay, so that's what how this will go. Hey, Robin. So before I start uh, bringing you on, well, I just want to talk about what ascension is and, and how it's all going to transpire. So, you know, there's many things. People are on that. Uh, uh, <laughs> from Loretta. I right? saw so you with Loretta in LA, Rod. Oh, my God. I, I thought you were an Australian. I thought Loretta was an Australian. Okay. Okay, guys. Sorry, I'm getting, getting distracted. All right. Um, all right. So ascension. So how is this planet going to transcend? How is it going to shift? How's, you know, is, are we going to get some, you know, angels appearing or are we going to like just get picked off the planet or whatever? I'll tell you how it's going to work in my, in my honest opinion or how I'm, after all the study I've done and what I feel is going to happen is, you, there will be a separation of energies. And so the more you transcend your own energy, so don't wait for anything. You've just got to transcend your energy. The more you shift and transcend and get the law of attraction, law of attraction is this, your body is hosting an energy and it's creating your universe, your world. So what will happen is you'll find that the more you shift and the more you change, the more your will becomes either really good, and let's say if it was bad, it will get worse. So you'll notice that in people's lives. And you can't really sit on the fence. If you sit on the fence, you end up going, you get pulled off the fence, by the way. Don't sit on the fence, you get pulled off. So you keep on uh, creating momentum just to shift the energy inside you. Shift those uh the emotions and stop looking at what is. So you might go, gee, the world looks pretty crappy or, you know, this, this is really bad. Um, and you focus on it or you see it just because it is doesn't mean that 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 is actually part of your creation, by the way. You take responsibility. You've got to like rise up above that and go, okay, so, okay, you see what is. You go, I don't want, like what is. I'm going to right, raise myself up. I'm going to shift this emotion. This is in my body because being an energy reader and forensic uh, founder of Forensic Healing, I've, this is just science. Your life is a science, so we've got to change the science. 
it's not by chance that you are either you know struggling in certain areas or whatever it's not by chance nothing is by chance there's the information behind it just as there's laws of the road or laws to you know cook make a cake there's a recipe you got anything everything has a formula your life has a formula okay so enough of that let me just see if i can uh see if i can bring somebody on to do a healing or a reading ask me anything so natalie okay cool you're on natalie all right so we'll add natalie and when she comes we will do something for her now the other thing is as you know, I might, if you want, I can also go a little further in the energy field and look at um, the soul, what can happen to your soul. Your energy can be siphoned. You can have implants. You can be kind of like crucifixion implants, You can, which really is a, like caused you to suffer. There's, there's all this stuff that actually really binds your soul. So if you've done a lot of stuff and a lot of trying to elevate your energy. Hi. Oh. Okay, hey Natalie, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So where where are you, Natalie? I'm in Castlemaine in Victoria. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> so, so that's great. So tell me a bit about what's what would you like answered, or what do you need some assistance in, or tell us. Um, I, I think I carry a lot of tension around my shoulders um, and I often feel like I can't speak. I feel like I'm blocked. I'm not able to mean, find my voice. Do you mean express yourself? Is that what yeah. you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Have you had this your whole life? Yes, <laughs> if I'm honest, yes. Yep, yep, from a very young age, you know, be quiet, be a girl, be quiet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, you think, do you think you just answered your question, why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, it's okay, that, you know, we... it's, it's, yeah. it's that thing of, you know, I kind of know where it's coming from, but... It, it's almost that self-fulfilling prophecy, isn't it? And and it's difficult to shift because, and this mm. is, I've been thinking about this, Natalie, this is a great, great sort of like um, example of how difficult, like you understand you've been told to say be quiet, shush, the, you know, children be seen and not heard, that's not your yeah. place to speak, right? So you've been yeah. conditioned with that. Uh, we got yeah. birds. What have you got, birds? No, it's just bells on the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. bells. Oh, I couldn't see. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, so what i what I got to ask you, oh, well, I'm going to get low on battery here. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, so what, I'm going to have to go plug in in a second. What um, I'm wanting to, oh, yeah, so you have to stop being you, by the way. That means you have to stop being you because your foundation was created in childhood and therefore we're saying you've got to like take away this foundation you don't know how to be anything different you don't know how not to be you do you know that mm. yeah yeah and being you not speaking yeah cause it's um it's very noticeable last last week that um i had some issues at work and it felt like my jaw just clamped shut Right. Okay. Well, why don't we? Okay, let's do a healing for that. But I'm, I'm going to just grab my lead in a second. But I'm going to um, give you an age. So you're going to have to talk through because I can still hear you when I just grab the lead. I've got to find an age of what was significantly that significant that happened to you. So I'll just go back to your age: uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, five. So talk about the dynamics at age five. Talk about your home life what you recall, and I can hear you, I'll just grab the lead, so keep talking. Um, when I was five, my goodness. So I just started school, been at school, and um, yeah, 
I can't oh. remember much of my childhood. See that? Well, that's so. Therefore, tell me about your family's, uh, your mother and father's relationship with each other. Um, my real father was on the scene, but my stepdad came into. My mum married my stepdad when I was four, and he was could be pretty nasty. And your stepfather, yeah. So talk about what he did. Tell me more about that. Um, he would try and play my mum and I off against each other. And I'd say he was quite narcissistic. Yeah, a he of, sounds a it. A lot of gaslighting. Wow. Okay. So, how did you guys off each other? Pardon? How did he play you off against each other? Oh, he'd um, he'd wind me up, and because I was a little bit gobby at times, <laughs> a little bit and I'm a little bit gobby, and sort of would talk back. And my mum would say, oh, just, and it would wind me up. It would, he'd wind me up, purposely wind me up. And then my mum would just yeah. say, oh, just don't take the bait. Yeah. So okay, so, so, that's, okay, so here's him. some more stuff. Don't, don't take the bait. In other words, don't respond to him. That's what she's sort yeah. of saying, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. So you've been taught to, to deal with conflict or other people by not speaking. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So that's your yeah. that's your belief system, by the way. Yeah. So you gotta yeah. change your belief system. How do I do that? <laughs> oh, this is, yeah. <laughs> how, how do you build it? You ask you so you're saying how do I build it? Question. Exactly. <laughs> well, I, I've, yeah. got, I've got the answer, but it's not. It's it's like saying, well, how do I build a house? You know, I go, mm. well, okay, well, let's get the bricks. But the first thing is is knowing to build the house. You got to know, okay, what sort of house do you want? So for you, it's like, okay, yeah. so what do I want to change? So you've got to look at that. You say that to yourself. Don't speak. Don't respond to people. Hold back because um, that's the way you deal with people. You got to yeah. change that. Yeah. So that's the first having, thing. Saying it's not what I think. Having confidence to like reflect on that, like last week um, at work, having the confidence to say, actually, I don't, I don't feel like I'm being respected. Well, yeah. Well, I, can, I want to give you a little clue here, and then we'll just do a, a quick shift. But I'll tell you the clue is this: you did, can I ask how old you are? I'm forty. 40. You've been doing this for 40 years or so, you know, just done that. And probably part of half lifetimes. You've been doing this for 40 years, right? So mm. you need to, like, it's going to be undoing. So you've got to go, okay, there I did. You're doing that situation at work wasn't the first time. It's happened many no, times before, correct? Many times, yeah, many times. Yep. So what you've got to do is go, okay, there I just did my pattern. I didn't say anything. I held back. You've got mm. to, like, after start practicing and working out how you would do it differently and speak it to yourself have this role play yeah. and how you would speak and like like go, speak it to yourself in the mirror and that way you're starting to shift the silence you can't just go oh you know i mean that just happened again you've got to actually start analyzing and taking a look at what would you do differently so that you're prepared mm. for next time and then you do it again mm. you go oops messed up again. you didn't speak up this is what i would mm. have said but talk to yourself you got to, like, not just think it. Talk to yourself in the mirror and go, you know what, Natalie, you could have said this. Um, I appreciate you saying that. I feel that uh, you're not looking at this or I feel that you're actually disrespecting my opinion. You would mm -hmm. speak it out. You are, They're practising doing something that you never do. Yeah. 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 So it's not a million-dollar question. It's <laughs> sort of... <laughs> it's just you know how much you've done for 40, 40 years so what have you done to correct it 
Oh. I mean, I speak up a lot more than I used to, but it's, you know, those, those. Besides, besides that, no, but yeah, you might do, <laughs> but it's still an issue. But what have you done outside? What, how have you invested in yourself? Oh, <laughs> I'm a mom. I don't invest. <laughs> there you, yeah, yeah. Well, well that's children. right. Like, well, that, well, yeah. So you're investing in children. So you tell the universe, I'm not really worth much. And therefore, mm. you show your children, you think you're doing your children a favor, but as soon as they get mm. married, they say, oh, no, we can get married. And you become a mom. You're not supposed to invest in you. Or if they're boys, they go, no, they're supposed to do it. The women are supposed to do everything for you. Mm. That's actually what you're doing. Mm, mm. Yeah, you don't help, and and a, and a a child wants a happy, peaceful mother that that feels good about herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. Okay, so let's let's just take a nice deep breath in, go in, and go back to those times that weren't very good. Breathe in, and then breathe out the hurt, breathe out the pain, breathe out the uh, degrading and the disrespect that you received. You, you're doing another learn pattern that you're not worthy of it. Mm. You're a walking energy. Yeah. What are you feeling now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a quite teary actually. <laughs> See, there's a lot of work to do. We've got to rebuild that house. Yeah. 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 And I'm sorry that you didn't receive love and that you weren't told that you're amazing and that what you have to say matters and that you're, you know, you can be, do and have whatever you desire. I'm so sorry that you were treated and your mother treated badly. Mm -hmm. you more. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. You probably over -give. Do you ever give to your kids? Do you, like, let them speak a lot? I probably do. I, I try and talk to them. I don't, I don't let them feel – I don't want them to feel like I felt. I yeah, so I'm therefore you overdo it. You overdo it. Overdo it. That's, mm. Yeah, overcompensate. So you give even yeah. more – than yeah. you probably have, and you're, you're like empty. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're an empty cup. It's been you a, should give it all to your kids. It's been a big year as well. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We well, see, the thing is, it becomes a big year, and if you keep emptying your cup, then the universe goes, well, you just don't care about you. I'll give you more of that. Mm. I'll mm. give you your energy field, mm. which is empty, nothing. I'll give you nothing. Mm. Mm. Fill it up. Okay. <sighs> All right, so it's a bit of work, but um, I'll give you some pointers. Well, and you did speak up. This is you've done a little shift now. You. you got on the video. <laughs> yeah, this is big for me. <laughs> well, there you go. Bless you, you. You just did Thank something you. different. You're welcome, gorgeous. All right, well, Thank blessings you. and just. Remember to just talk to yourself of what you needed to say and then after a while, you know, you're speaking more and more and more and it's more natural. All right, lovely? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Thank see you. Then. Ciao. See you. Okay, Bye. blessings. Okay. All right, so, guys, I've got to get someone else who wants to come on. Have we got anybody on? I don't know if I've really got this plugged in properly. Um. Anybody requesting to come on? Let's look. You got any questions written down? No questions written down. Just watching. Oh, you're having a client. All right. Okay. So a lot of people watching. You're all good. All right. Well, for you to, you're halfway through. We're just on the over the halfway mark of this year. So. Things are reflecting in your energy field. I'll give you something really interesting that happened to me. I started to have, uh, I had a, I had to get my battery replaced on my car. It was dead flat, right? 
And so they came and they gave me a new battery for my car. And then a week later, I had to call them out again. And it wasn't a cheap battery. It's one of those batteries that stop, start. They're around about like for them to deliver it to your car, $400, right? So they, it's just a stop, start battery for because the car stops and starts at the lights. So then a week later, they had to come back and replace it. And then uh, it was about four weeks later, again, the battery went dead. So then I had to call them out again and get them to replace that one. And it really looked like I was doing something wrong because, um, yeah, like it was, um, the battery was dead and, um, you know, second time. So the guy came out and he replaced it, but he wasn't that happy about doing it. And so that's like three batteries in a month. And then it was like, and then the day that my battery was dead the first time, I was going to an appointment or going to see somebody. And then that same person that I was consulting, because I had this, uh, I consult this person, that person I had seen after the battery went dead the second time, I had only spoken to the night before. So it was like this person, and then I wasn't, um, and then the feedback was that he's a, he take, he gives away his energy to his work or other places, but he doesn't give it back to his family. And I, and I realized I was giving more of my energy because I really cared about getting uh, shifts for this person. I was giving more of my energy than that person was putting in. And I, and so it was sucking me and it was showing me the, uh, how the battery was going flat. So I said to him, and I, and it's not that it's not a good idea to turn around and blame someone because whatever you're creating is your your thing. But uh, I just said, I don't know, I just for this particular person and this relationship we had, I said, listen, uh, you got to put you got to put in fifty. We got to do this a fifty fifty relationship because I'm giving it's eighty twenty at the moment, and I'm getting sucked. So my battery went flat because the universe talks to me so clearly. Anyway, so I said that then. Uh, there was a lack of not being honest enough because when you, you know, when you've had a bad childhood and stuff like that, you tend to shut down and don't see things as you should. So this person hadn't been getting real. So the next time I saw him after I'd spoken to him, I had a, someone a, that was working for me virtually and they had gone and, you know, uh, was deceitful with their hours and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, cause I'm a, you know, and I'm like, Oh, that's a message back to him that I, cause he was, when I spoke to him, he was kind of like, I'd give him a truth and then he would chuck it back on me like he didn't want to own the truth. And I said to him, listen, by the way, you got to be truthful from now on because I'm not, this is what happened to me. Again, uh, this is what happened to me about the consultant that, uh, the um, person that was working for me. So I'm getting that in my energy field. So I want you to be way more truthful. And of course things have shifted, uh, but that's what happens. Uh, about life, you, there's many reasons why you attract things. It's either people around you or it's in you or it's showing you to change. There's like about like 10 different things that the universe is uh, telling you when, you when things go wrong. It's not just a blanket, you know, oh, well, it's your mirror or something like that. All right. So just, uh, I love the universe. I love the universe and I'm pretty sure it loves me back because it really makes things clear for me. Uh, I might not say, uh, you know, you, I may not be a, I love it because it's real with me. All right. Uh, so Dora, I have to have people on. I can't do one and Robin. So I'm just going to, so for, I've got Robin and Dora. So if you want, before I sh close this live video, you're welcome to join in. If you guys want something, want a reading on anything otherwise I shall just start doing a closing down okay so take a nice deep breath in breathe in gratitude for everything that you have gratitude for the fact that you're alive and that you can breathe and that you're here uh, elevating your soul and your spirit and breathe out love love for everything love for the things that you have and I'm going to invite you to do a, a challenge, which I now do myself. I say to myself, 
every single day, I will say a hundred minimum of a hundred thank yous for an appreciation for the things that I have. And when I do that, I think I'm thankful for everything. And I've said this before, because when I look at what people go through on this planet, when I look at the suffering and what and everything, I think I am so blessed, blessed way more than I could, you know, imagine in comparison to how so many people have so little. And it's not until you get those things taken from you that then you go, I am so grateful. So don't get them taken from you. Be grateful. Be grateful now. All right. So thank you for joining me. It was just a little quick, a little uh, spontaneous little thing. I haven't got anyone else that wants to come on. So I wish you a beautiful Saturday afternoon and you're probably Friday night if you're over in LA or somewhere like that. Okay. So send you blessings and love always.